Hey all, welcome to Share Trek. This is Raj here. Uh, friends, uh, in this segment, I'm going to share my views on what's happening right now uh, in the market. Uh, the market started with the futures being a bit red for Nasdaq. And now they're all green. So here's what uh, went through. The second quarter revised GDP data showed that the US economy grew lower uh, than previously announced. And uh, it came in at 2.1% against the previous estimate of 2.4%. So that's a 0.3% uh, uh, below what was earlier declared and that's significant. This means that the Fed rate hike is working and the translation of that in my opinion is that the markets can be happy because the Fed can now understand that their interest rate hikes are working and they don't have to be hawkish. When this is coupled with the signs of slowdown in the labor market as job openings dropped from 9.16 million in June to 8.8 million at the end of July, the street expectations, uh, mind you, was 9.5 million job openings in July. So this shows a weakness that indicates that probably the economy is slowing down a bit. Again, this will allow the Fed to relax a bit and boost the stock market as these two data points indicate the economic slowdown and potential relief from high rates and also it kind of helps uh, one visualize a soft landing uh, because 8.8 .8 million against 9.5 the shortfall is significant once again. Another data point in the report that showed that fewer people quit their jobs was also I think a factor that boosted the market sentiments. Ideally when you see that um, fewer people are quitting their jobs uh, it would be a negative sentiment but in today's market with a tight job market uh, this would indicate that people recognize that staying with their current job is advantageous. One of the main reasons why people change jobs uh, could be to get higher salary which in turn feeds into inflation. So to me personally this data point indicates that company will not need to increase uh, their wage bills and that in turn will calm inflation. Not only that but also the release from ADP showed private payroll additions fell from 371,000 in July to 177,000 in August. So that's again uh, a significant uh, uh, reduction in the number of additions in private payroll. All this means that the overheated la labor market perhaps is coming uh, to a bit of a cool down. As per Fed Chair Powell, if the Fed sees evidence that the, the tightness in the ma labor market is no longer easing, it would call for monetary, monetary policy response. So basically read this as a rate hike. So clearly in this case, at this point of time, based on the data releases, uh, the Fed has not got a reason to ra hike the rates because of the labor market. Also, one-off spending took place due to two box office hits, Barbie and Oppenheimer. And apart from that, there were some major concept, uh, concerts by Taylor Swift and Beyonce. Again, those are all spendings that have come through. Uh, and some economic uh, uh, commentators point to the fact that student loan moratorium is expiring and that could curb student spending. So the way I think of it is that uh, in future, the students will have less money to spend because they are going to be paying back their uh, student loans. And as a result, the demand for these uh, concerts and other things will be uh, subdued a little bit and those one-offs would not be showing up in the uh, stats. As a result of all of this, I think the market is back on its bullish track today. And uh, that's all uh, for this uh, quick update segment. Uh, I'll catch up with you soon. Bye for now.